Ever heard the one about the guy who fasted for a day and turned into a superhuman? Yeah, me neither. But let's dive into what actually happens when you fast for 24 hours. Welcome to the fascinating world of fasting, a realm where myths abound and facts are often stranger than fiction. I'm sure you've heard a tale or two about fasting. Maybe someone claimed they transformed into a superhuman after a day without food. Or perhaps you've heard the opposite, that a person will wither away to nothing if they skip a meal or two. Well, let's bust those myths wide open, shall we? First off, fasting for a day won't turn you into a comic book character. Sorry to disappoint, but your chances of shooting webs from your hands or flying around in a cape after a day of fasting are about as likely as winning the lottery. Twice. On the flip side, you're not going to shrivel up and blow away in the wind if you decide to fast for 24 hours. Your body is a lot more resilient than that. Think of it as a well-oiled machine, ready to adapt and change according to the fuel it's given, or not given, as the case may be. So, what happens in the first few hours of the fasting process? Well, when you fast, your body goes into survival mode, it starts to look for alternative sources of energy, and that's when things get interesting. Your body begins to break down glycogen, a form of glucose stored in your liver and muscles to provide energy. This process is like your body's version of a garage sale, where it starts selling off stored items to keep the lights on. But don't worry, this isn't a desperate scramble for survival. It's a finely tuned process that our bodies have been perfecting since the dawn of humanity. So next time you think a day without food will turn you into a superhero or a skeleton, remember, your body is more like a well-oiled machine than a comic book character. Now you might be wondering, what happens when the hunger kicks in? Well, your body starts playing its own version of the hunger games. Let's break it down a bit. As you begin to fast, your body, which is used to being supplied with regular doses of glucose from your meals, suddenly finds itself in a bit of a pickle. Imagine it like this. It's as if your body is a kid left home alone who suddenly realizes there's no more candy in the candy jar. So, what does it do? It kicks off a little scavenger hunt. The body starts to rummage around its own storage spaces looking for leftover bits of glucose it can use for energy. This scavenger hunt takes place mainly in the liver where your body has stashed away some glycogen, a form of glucose, for just such an occasion. Now this might make you feel a bit hungry. But remember, hunger is not your enemy here. It's just a signal from your body saying, hey, I'm used to getting a regular supply of energy, and I'm not getting it right now. But it's not a death sentence. It's just a temporary discomfort that your body will adjust to as it starts to learn to tap into its stored energy reserves. Think of it as your body's way of saying, okay, plan A, regular meals, is not working out. Time to switch to plan B, stored glucose. And as your body gets better at switching to plan B, you might find that you actually feel less hungry over time. You see, fasting is not about starving yourself. It's about giving your body a chance to tap into its own resources, to use what it has stored away, and to become more efficient in its energy use. So remember, when your stomach starts growling, it's not a bear, it's just your body playing hide-and-seek with glucose. And remember, it's a game that your body knows how to play. It's been built for this. So, don't fear the hunger. Embrace the game. After about 12 hours, your body might start to feel like it's running on fumes. But is it burning fat, or just burning out? Imagine this scenario. You've been driving your car, a sleek and reliable machine, all day, on premium fuel. Suddenly, the fuel gauge drops to the red zone and the nearest gas station only has regular gas. You grimace, but what choice do you have? You fill up your tank with the regular and off you go. This situation is a lot like what your body goes through during a fast. You start off the day with your body's preferred energy source, glucose. It's the premium fuel, easy to burn and readily available from your most recent meal. But as the hours tick by, that glucose store dwindles and your body finds itself in the red zone. And just like that, your body, the incredible machine that it is, switches gears. It starts to tap into your fat stores for energy. It's the regular gas, not as easy to burn as glucose, but it gets the job done. This switch is known as ketosis, a state where your body burns fat for fuel. Now, this switch might sound like music to the ears of those looking to shed a few pounds. After all, who wouldn't want to burn off that extra fat? But it's not all roses and rainbows. As your body transitions to burning fat, you might start to feel a little off. We're talking fatigue, dizziness, even a bit of brain fog. Imagine trying to rev up a car running on regular gas when it's used to premium. It's going to sputter a bit, right? But don't fret, it's not all doom and gloom. These feelings are temporary and will usually subside as your body gets used to its new fuel source.
So while you may feel like a car running on empty, remember your body is just switching fuel sources. And no, this doesn't mean you can start eating gas station hot dogs for energy. You've made it 24 hours without food, congratulations! You're officially a fasting champ, but what's happening inside your body? The plot thickens, my friends. Your body, like the resourceful survivalist it is, isn't about to go gentle into that good night. Nope, it's pulling a real Bear Grylls move and finding sustenance in places you never expected. Remember those energy bars you stashed in your backpack and forgot about? Well, your body has its own stash of energy reserves, it's called fat. So 24 hours in, you're not just burning fat, you're incinerating it. And when fat is your body's main source of fuel, you've entered a metabolic state called ketosis. Sounds like a cool sci-fi term, doesn't it? Well, it's not quite teleportation, but it's pretty amazing nonetheless. Now let's not sugarcoat this, pun intended. Ketosis is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it can lead to weight loss, improved brain function, and increased energy levels. It's like your body's own natural superpower, a secret weapon in the fight against excess fat and sluggishness. But on the other hand, ketosis isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It can lead to bad breath, constipation, and in some cases, nutrient deficiencies. It's like that hidden stash of energy bars turning out to be all kale-flavored, not quite what you were hoping for. But here's the thing. Your body is smarter than you think. It knows how to balance itself out. It knows when it's time to switch from glucose to fat, and when it's time to switch back. It's like a well-oiled machine, constantly adjusting and readjusting to keep you running at peak performance. So after 24 hours of fasting, your body has gone from a glucose-guzzling machine to a fat-burning furnace. But remember, just like any furnace, it needs to be monitored closely. Listen to your body, give it what it needs, and it'll return the favor by keeping you healthy, energized, and ready to tackle whatever life throws your way. So, now that you've survived a day without food, the question is, to fast or not to fast? The answer, my friends, is as elusive as deciding whether to binge watch that new show or go to bed early. The pros and cons are many, and the decision ultimately is yours. Let's start with the good stuff. Fasting for 24 hours can be like a reset button for your body. It can give your digestive system a break, allowing it to repair and rejuvenate. It can also trigger a process called autophagy, where your body starts cleaning out damaged cells. Think of it as your body's personal housekeeping service, and of course there's the potential for weight loss. It's like getting a head start on your summer body while you binge watch that show. But let's not forget the flip side, fasting isn't for everyone. It can lead to headaches, dizziness, and fatigue. And let's face it, nobody wants to feel like a zombie in the middle of a workday. It can also mess with your metabolism if not done properly. And if you have any underlying health conditions, fasting could potentially exacerbate them. It's like deciding to binge watch that show only to realize it's a cliffhanger at 2am. Remember, balance is key. Extreme measures rarely lead to sustainable results. So, before you dive headfirst into the world of fasting, it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare provider. After all, they're the experts. And there you have it. A day in the life of your body on a fast. Remember, while fasting can be like a roller coaster ride for your body, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. So, share your experiences with fasting in the comments. And no, I once went 20 minutes without eating, doesn't count.